My name is Nima Dogbandon. I'm a partner with Chiraz CLP. We're the general counsel for the American Association of Private Lenders, and we're here to oppose this bill today. I'm also a graduate of the University of Miami School of Law. What this bill is, is, this, is an anti-protection measure couched as consumer protection. Specifically, this act would require any party who makes a business loan secured by residential collateral to obtain a license. These are not consumers. These are business-to-business -business lending. These are non-owner-occupied properties. These are not consumer transactions. And, these, and consumer transactions are already regulated. What these are are loans to businesses, from businesses, secured by non-owner-occupied properties. Let me be unequivocal here. This legislation does not protect consumers. If a consumer would like to obtain a consumer loan, that party already needs to obtain a loan from a licensed party. That is your current regulation in the state. What this does do, and, this, what, and, if, you, and if this bill does pass, the only parties who are actually affected are commercial lenders making commercial loans to commercial borrowers. Those are the only parties who become regulated under this. The bill analysis and fiscal impact statement that was provided to the committee grossly understates the actual impact this will have. Specifically, in order to obtain a mortgage lender license in the state, a mortgage lender must obtain audited financials at a cost of somewhere between thirty to $50,000, effectively eliminating competition. That's what this bill would do. Governor Rick Scott vetoed this exact same legislation two years ago. When he did so, he stated, this would make Florida one of the most restrictive states in the nation. And in fact, 40 of the 50 states in this country do not regulate this activity, including every single state on the eastern coast, including states such as New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts, and Pennsylvania. Not a single one regulate this type of activity. I kindly ask that you recognize what this legislation is and what it is not. It's a monopolistic attempt to regulate an industry so that currently licensed lenders here can restrict competition, raise rates to, to borrowers here in the state, and increase rates to the end users. I also believe that it's worthy to note at this point that since the American Association of Private Lenders did oppose this measure, uh, Senator Tadeo has reintroduced it in a un completely unrelated bill, which is SB 1730, which is currently making its way through the Infrastructure and Security Committee. Thank you for your time.